All right, let's go. Come on. Don't we know what you're backing up for. Right. We got to go forward. forward. Inward. Hopefully, no one will fall down this time. Nothing. Nothing will fall oh, down. You notice, like, See, I'm going to give a nice back shot oh, to my shirt my there. Goodness. You like that? Oh, my goodness. Are you ready? Ready. All right, ready. Up, suck it in. Look at that. You got to sit yeah, back. Right. So I am. I am. Not cutting off the top here. Ooh, look at that, man. That's whoa. Look at you. Nice looking hair you got going on there. Did yeah, you get yeah. a haircut? Yeah, it's good, it's good sent, I sent him to a hair and makeup before we started this time. Well, he looks yep. he looks sharp. Yep, he's yep. actually sharp. Howdy, y'all. I'm Mr. Holga. No, I'm Todd Fucking. And this is Don's Used Photo Equipment. So I had to show the yep. back of this shirt yes. because you know the thousands of dollars that I'm spending on my third place daughter's college education. She's the last one, though, right? You, she see. is the last one. Oh. <laughs> You uh, would think one and two gone through. Right you out. would think with the amount of money that I'm spending, I should get free t-shirts. Yes, no, no, no free t-shirts. No free t-shirts. No, it's one of those not-for-profit things, which means they <laughs> suck you dry, buddy, every way they can. But I am wearing my uh, uh, te uh, Texas A&M dad shirt uh, because we're a, we're we're going to do a Father's Day special, but it's not really a Father's Day special. We're, it just happens to be Father's Day next Sunday. After this comes I need out, to get my dad a gift then. That that could be something. Thanks could, for reminding me. And that could be a little something, something <laughs> right there. So uh, we, we're going to talk a little father things here towards the end. Yeah. But you know the most exciting thing that I want to talk about, uh, which I, I I don't you guys if you're following my social media, I'm going to say uh, I'm sorry so many times uh, yeah. because I have been uh, having so He's much smitten. fun, smitten. so much fun. He is so smitten. So much fun with the Re Rito 3D Rito camera. Rito 3D camera. Uh, Lone Star Darkroom. Yep. Uh, they took my one roll. I only had one roll of film. I uh, And I threw it and just sent it, cast it into the universe. Uh, Chris, she developed it. She gave me all my files back online. And I have been making wiggles out of them. Oh, my God. Is that a lot of fun? Uh, You've seen that, some uh, of them, uh, right? The Rito 3D cameras wiggles make Mr. Hoga giggles. That's that's it. That's it. There you go. Oh, sir. that's the saddest thing. That's the saddest thing. But it's true. But this is a nice little camera, though. Yeah. I know we talked about it last time. And but it's, it's very solid. It's it's very well made. And it's built a whole lot better than your just traditional non or what we call yes. disposable. And as we camera. say, this is neither a disposable nor a reusable disposable camera. This is a camera, and yeah, it's actually made out of nice practice. and fun. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm, firm. I'm, well I'm 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 shocked that they're not flying off the shelves. But I did see other stores are getting them here recently, and you've already you've you've had them for a little while. I'm, I've I'm had seeing them. Yeah. I'm seeing other people saying, "Oh, guess what we got in now? You've had that for at least a couple of weeks now." Oh, I've had it. I'm this a, is a lot of fun. Ahead of the curve. Ahead of the curve. Ahead, always. Now, tip of the spear, my friends. Tip of the spear, tip of the spear. first, which is you know usually not always the best thing, but you know. <laughs> not but always, but so I just wanted to share with you guys that I got. Film. Oh wait, I shouldn't. Maybe no, maybe there's a different there's way not, we can. There's a, there's no. a different way we can show it to. Well, so, no, no, this isn't. Excuse me. That's you're right. That's not negative. Those are negatives. Negatives. We've had a whole video on this. You should have been there. It was I, great. I know the video was great. <laughs> if only I would call the right things. Yeah, yeah you're right. Watch it I, I have negatives. So uh, I'm going to show a few of these to you guys online. You saw some, most of these, right? You yeah. went to, Yes. Yes. You, you yes, went to I there. Did. So the fact that you know. Uh, you've got three images. You're bringing them together. Oh no! And you're what I normally do on the images. You know, there's a problem with this. What? It's cut off midstream. No, 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 no. <laughs> See, like there's three, and there's one, and then there's the other two. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's, oh, that man. doesn't matter at all. Uh, actually, uh, the way Chris sent me the files, she made each one of the three pictures their individual files. Wow. So, so of uh, I think I had like seventeen shots on the entire camera times three. Yeah, because that's what uh, that's how many images I actually got back. And then I would go into I so I used Photoshop to combine these together. I mm -hmm. did not use the Reto Project app at right. all because I think they wanted some money for it. And I'm like, why would I pay for something that I I have already? So yeah. I used a Photoshop. I imported them as layers. Uh, and they essentially they just put them right on top of each other. And then what I did was uh, for the images, I would line. So I'd have a, a, a layer one, two and three. And what I would do is I would align layer one to layer two. And then I would align layer three to layer two. So essentially layer two was my base. And what I would align was I would align by the eyes. Yeah. Uh, so as, as you're going to see, I'm going to show you guys some examples of these. 
uh, you can't align them perfectly, but you can align them pretty close. And because you have that center point of focus, which is normally the eyes, uh, yeah, you can see like the nose slightly goes a little bit back and forth, which is fine. Mm -hmm. But what you're mainly seeing is that the background is yep. is what's really moving on yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. The background is noticeably moving. And the shoulders are moving too a little bit. Well, so. the shoulder, yeah, everything, that, everything about the thing is moving because yeah. it, it's not the exact same shot. But like I said, to to center point on something, it was always the eyes that I went for. Yeah, but the thing of it is, is man alive, the shadow that thing cast. That's a good flash. That is on. true. I, I took pictures in uh, here as well. So uh, Outdoors, it looks phenomenal. It, it does. So I took yeah. shots indoors and outdoors. I used a 400 speed. Uh, I actually used the Ilford XP2 uh, Super. Yes, love that film. Uh, which is a 400 speed. Yeah. I use that indoors and outdoors. I did not use it in super bright, bright light outdoors. So actually, that was actually kind of shady places that we're at. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, it was at the Herd Museum. Now, see what and I the rest of them are. Uh, whoops. What I cannot wait for oh, is so what I cannot, what I cannot wait for is for you to shoot a roll of this in color film. And have that would be cool. Same, same thing in color film. You know, the thing that I was thinking about while you're doing this is that it would be really cool to sit there and take the camera mm -hmm. and then take something like color plus film right and shoot a picture of the color plus film with color plus film in the reto camera and you just have it wiggle <laughs> they, that, they, well I, that's one thing i have not taken a picture i hadn't taken a picture of like uh non-people yes uh i mean you know I, I haven't gone out and done cars and and just different things like that or dog i haven't even done my dog yet or, you know I've essentially only done people and faces because mm -hmm. I really wanted that nice concentration uh, of something to focus on. Yep, so yep. I, I haven't even scratched the surface of the different things that oh, I, I can go take fo photos of uh, there's camera. A, there's a million little things, a million. And it would just be, uh, it's, but I was thinking if I eventually over a course of a long time, yeah, yeah. sit there and have like a whole bunch of a pile of color plus, and then you sit there and take several different pictures of color plus, right, and different right. things, just a whole row of color plus pictures on color plus film yes. shot by Rito and then that way eventually have everything shot with its own film. I'd love to see that done. So that would be interesting. I, I, we'll have to see where that one goes. Yeah. <laughs> when he says that it's just usually like <laughs> Well I but you know as you and I were we were talking before this we had mm -hmm. we had a guest in actually you had two guests in here yes. when I came in here. Yeah. Uh the first one was the Anson Brody. Yes, right. And I was talking to him about uh the dry plates. And yes. And he gave me some really cool tips. And oh and, and I want to try the, see, I bought dry plates for me, I think last year. Yeah. And I haven't done anything with them. It's like, no, I need to use this. That's definitely a future guest that we're gonna have on. Yeah. And all of the dry all the processing of what you can do with dry mount glass plate mm -hmm. and the problems you have with it, just he just he was in there telling us detail. I think it would be highly educational because like I said, yeah, the things he was telling us gorgeous. was like, wow, I didn't even consider those things. Yeah. And it's really nice to and know. The images, the the definition you get off of the, the image right. from a dry mount glass plate is is unbelievable. So it's, so it's just beautiful work. As much as you want me to go and try and, and shoot something, I would really like to do the glass plates yeah, first. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, there, this, I, this entire store for me is like, okay, what am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? What am I going to do? And I, I think the, dry, the yeah. glass plates is Well, go. the thing is, is that too, is that uh, Brody was here for like 20 years in the DFW area. Right. And then... Don't ask me why, but I mean, he oh, drove. Oh, oh, I know what. No, 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 no I don't know. But you know, it's not that kind of video, guys. It's not that okay. kind of video. No, but he moved up to Chicago and now he's out of base out of Chicago. 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 You know, I always heard chicken in the car and the car won't go. Chicago. Mm, Chicago. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So he's up in Chicago now and he's down here working on a project, which you really can't talk about now. Now, but next super time. Super secret, secret project. No, it's not super. It's double secret probation. He knows about it. It's double secret probation. Right. From uh, Animal House. Yes, thank you. And the, um, well, I know you know that. <laughs> Half our audience is going, what? <laughs> they don't even know. <laughs> but anyway, whenever whenever he has a chance to, well, we don't even have to talk about that project he's working on. No. But, I mean, just the whole thing that he's going through and working with dry mount glass plate and glass and everything, it's a show in and of itself. It's it's fascinating. And it's just and gorgeous. We'll, and work. we'll hold that thought because yeah, we're going to do it, guys. Yeah, yeah. But back to the 3D camera. The uh, 3D. Phenomenal. Now, had a lot of fun. How's it pronounced? How do you think it? Rito? Rito. Reto. 
Well, I mean, it could be. Uh, uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, they go by uh, at retail.project. Yeah. And, and really, they're only on Instagram. So if you want to go see some more of their stuff, I'd go check it out there. <laughs> what I was wondering is, why didn't they just go ahead and throw the R in there? The retro. They make it retro. Oh, the retro. Yeah, I, I, it's I, probably I see, see so what you're saying. so many different things. Because what they're doing is they're taking things from the past and redoing it. With yeah. all of the same company that's making the the film holders mm -hmm. that you love, that, right? Well, I love them too. They're phenomenal. <laughs> when I'm going to get them in, I'll never know. But they're gorgeous, and now they're doing this, and they're working on other things too. Well, it's, it's just, a good little camera, a, uh, and so and I'm going to products very very well made from them. It's solid, a it's a solid, solid it's a great camera. Yeah. It's solidly made. Love it, and the box was good too. Yes. Um, yes. So. They have a thing if with you guys, if you want, so I'm going to share a couple of them here online. I'm going to put the link down yep. below. But really, if you want to go see them, I would go check them out because I put at least 10 of them on the Don's Use Photo Reddit subreddit or the Reddit community yes. page. So uh, that link is down there as well. And so you, we currently have 20 Reddit uh, Redditor members joining us. 20. That's me plus 19 other folks. We'd love to have you join us. We'd love to have you share some photos with us. Right yes. now, I'm the only one sharing the photos. I know, I know. I did go and look, and I'm thinking I would love to see other people's photos on there of the store. Yeah, it's not just mine. Other, yeah, not just his, <laughs> but other, so many. Can we say, because Chris with Long Star Darkroom says that when she processes film, she laughs at how many people have the last photo on the roll of film is Don's front door. Is our front door. <laughs> it's like they come here and they have a few shots left, so they just take pictures of our outside. Yeah, why and not? She, she wants to put all of them together. That would be an interesting collection. And it's like Chris do it because no one will be able to pick out their photo from the stack. If you get a hundred of them up there, because they're all the same front door. They're all the same front door. So the other thing, and I just posted this one today. So if you've gone to the uh, whether you've gone to Facebook. Mm -hmm. Or you've gone to the Twitter or the Instagram. Hopefully, you're following in uh, Don's multiple, Use Photo multiple in multiple different. locations. Yeah, yeah. But because I'm not, somebody needs. But to. it was a few videos ago. Yeah, I saw this. Yeah. That I had. That, that's the uh, that's the pinhole picture that I took. It was in yeah, April. Yeah. And I think it was the show that we did pinhole uh, worldwide pinhole weekend. And so yes. I took the picture. He's always saying, "Am I going to see that picture months from now?" Yes, you will see it months from now. Months so, from now, there it is. Uh, it's a nice picture. And, and I, I thought you. Do I notice, thought you'd enjoy that one. I did. I, I noticed I wiggle more than you. <laughs> well, we we are both quite the blur. We are we very are. we're very animated. We don't sit still while we're here. No, just. no, we don't. But you can see I. You know, I always sit in a chair, and my chair will sometimes just kind of start going. Uh, like yeah, because yeah, I this this bench that I'm on it does not swivel. He does, it doesn't swivel. Mine does, and it does. It has a mind on its own. So whenever I'm both my feet up, and all of a sudden, sometimes I am just starting to look off into yonder. <laughs> so if you want to share photos of the store yes. with us, great. If you want to just share your best film shot, because, hey, I bought probably bought the film here anyways. We'd love to see that, too. Yes. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be the store. You don't have to take a picture of Todd. You no, can no, take a I picture mean, no, of me, anything. The store. You, no, the well, store. I mean, I'm saying and you don't goes, have to do She the goes, store. the second thing that she sees the most of in our store is, guess what? The wall of film. Oh, the wall of film. People right. taking pictures of the wall. I, you know, of I, film. I'm highly interested to see some of these photos. I now. would, I would, I so want to. Uh, there's also, uh, which reminds me, I got, a, I got a picture down there that a customer sent, brought in. Yeah. And it says here, you know, I told you like months ago, I would give you a, a copy, a copy, and, of and now you got a copy. Now we had, can put. The, now we got somewhere to put that on. Okay. So I'll let you take that photo and put it up and just say to share it. To yeah. share it. A customer, a customer took this of Todd in front of the store. Yeah, it's me out on the French porch. There, there are Instagram yes. accounts that um, they're dedicated to uh, end of the roll or, or beginning of the roll. So you always have that picture that's cut off just just where the film was loaded. Yep. I yep. love those shots. I yep. mean, some sometimes they're absolutely perfect, absolutely beautiful, or or they're they're just down the middle in the wrong place. Yeah. So if you get a chance on uh, Instagram, go check out end of the roll or beginning <laughs> of the roll or something like that because those are great shots. <laughs> oh man. I mean, but that's a much a, 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 a yeah. akin to what. What uh, Chris is seeing with oh, yes, the last yes. shot is your parking lot. So yes, somebody's the, got the do not park here the, or the Don yeah, the, sign. The do or, not park or Don's used photo parking only. Yes, yes. Which I wish a lot of other people would read. <laughs> like your neighbors. Like my neighbors. <laughs> no, not going to read that. Not going to read that. They think it's for everyone that they're special. No, they they are not. special. They, they are, are super special. A little too special. Right. So this is our... No, we've had some fun conversations with people out in front over our parking. It's private property, people. The last time I was here, I kicked somebody out. I said, yeah, hey, 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 move, move keep, it. keep it moving. Move keep it. Moving. 
They looked at me like I ran the place. Just he acts like it. So this is our somewhat Father's Day esque uh, show here, and yeah. I guess I'm just going to start right off the bat yeah. with, "How's Dad doing?" We have, I okay. I don't see him very often, but I know he does come up here. Yes, yeah, he he comes up here early in the morning, and stays till about three three to three thirty. Right, and then he sneaks out of here. He, he, he's he got the he's out. got those ultra banker hours. Comes when he wants to, leaves when he wants to. Yeah, I, leaves when he has to. <laughs> well, you don't really. He doesn't really want to be in traffic. No, he doesn't want to be in traffic, and you know. But he does sometimes. He just wants to spend more time here, or so. But he's, he he does want to get out of the house. He definitely wants to get out of the house. No, no, and that has nothing to do with mom. She's no, absolutely. No. She's she's a peach. Wonderful. Everybody lady. loves loves hanging with mom. People love my mom. But every now and then, she just wants to kick people out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Put them to work. Put them to work. So if, if they're going to stay up there that long, maybe they should they should do something. Yes. So. Yes. Absolutely. Rework. She's probably still yeah. thinking I should be doing something around here, which I don't. So clean something. <laughs> <laughs> no, instead we just make videos and we make yeah. fun of people. Yes. All right. Well, and that's great. And occasionally people watch. That's great. Like, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Yeah. Yes. Please do share, like, subscribe. It's funny. I'm sorry. It's we're, so easy we're to do. take just a, push little, a little bit. It's, it's like all. It's like our, our subscription would just go. Uh, vroom, he's and then it'll guys. stop. <laughs> It, no, no. it puts on the brakes. It puts on the brakes, and it just stops, and then it'll just go, vroom, and then it'll just stop, and then it'll go, doop, doop, doop. Vroom. That's right. The last video, uh, Todd actually, he, he lost us a subscriber. I did. I, I don't know how you did it. I, easily. I know it wasn't me. I'm, I'm honestly pretty sure surprised we don't lose more. <laughs> I'm su yeah, I'm surprised we don't get more downvotes. Uh, so. no, don't, don't encourage I'm me. not encouraging don't it, but I, I really surprised. Yeah, at least go down, just do a down vote, just to say why. You know, no, I don't think anybody's ever said why. Ever. Oh, no, 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 never no, no. That, that, that requires actual uh, thought. Yeah. So yeah. this is our, our Father's Day special. And, yeah. and so this week, uh, I have been shooting. Uh, I love this, of course. Well, th this is a, a super custom. He's, yes, he, yes. Was, he was like, when are you going to make these straps well, here? But and it's like, not with a wording on it. Well, all right. No, this, this one's super custom because, yeah. uh, and I know I've discussed this before. This was my dad's Minolta camera. Oh, yeah. And, and so uh, I'm shooting it this week in, in honor of dad. Uh, because, you know, uh, I, I, of all the things, you know, after dad passed away, I said I wanted, it's like, well, I wanted his camera. Definitely. Because it was Absolutely. the most, and of course, it, you know, I remember revealing this, this camera when I was a kid, I was thinking, oh, it was, you know, it was the best. It was awesome. Dad was always super protective of it. And yeah, we get, really we, he would get mad when we'd leave the, the power on and it would drain the battery and different things like that. And, um, and of course now, now I have it and I realize it's not that great of a camera. It's not a high end camera. It's not super fast, no. super great. Does but it? Dad had it, but it was that's, dad's camera. It's dad's camera. And, and that's what matters to me. And yes, yeah. I did. I, I took off the hippie strap. He actually has a hippie strap plus oh a gosh. spare. A, oh man. If you want to sell. No, those, I can't I, because they were dad's, dad's hippie straps. straps. Yeah. But I did make a custom. So uh, let me ask custom. Like, what did your dad put in the little, little places to put the film? Well, there were actually rolls of film still in there, yeah. uh, and they'd probably been in there for 10, 15 years because he stopped shooting film, but there was still film in there. I don't know that I've shot those rolls of film Just yet. Just leave though. them in there. <laughs> just, leave just leave him in there. Him. It did look like a bandolero. He had, yeah. you know, the little. He actually had the uh, the plastic canisters to put not not the little uh, yes, yeah. elastic, but the actual canisters that were on. Yeah, there. yeah. Like, so wow. you put the film in the canister, the canister in the elastic, and there you go. Yeah. But uh, this was Dad's pride and joy, and uh, you know I, I did get to handle it a little bit with him before. You know, I, I, he's like, uh, he's like, I had my I had a Nikon with me that had the same battery, and I, I said, uh, so when was the last time you shot that? And you know, he he got it out and showed it to me. And he goes, well, I don't have a battery for it. And I'm like, I bet I have a battery for it. So there you go. Uh, and we you know we saw that it was functional, and and he was at, I think he was ready to give it to me at that time. Mm -hmm. But uh, he goes, yeah, I still might want to shoot that. I'm like, yeah, well, here, keep the battery. Which one is it now? It's the Minolta. XG1. XG1. And look at that. It is it's clean. It's it's, clean. it's very it's nice and clean. Uh yeah. it's it's still fully functional. Mm -hmm. You know, he's got a 50 uh F2 lens on here. I mean, I would love a 1.8 or 1.4. But, or 1.2. But, you know, uh, uh, an F2, not bad. Well, I, well, I don't think Minolta I made actually, an F1.2, did they? Yes. They made a 55 1.2, which is actually called the King of Boca lens. The King of Boca lens. It is a phenomenal hot property lens. The old Minolta, I think it's the old MC. I feel like he's talking dirty to me right now. I am, he's, he's, he's trying to entice me I to get a better lens. 55 1.2. It is very sought after. 
So I've already shot a roll of, and that's what I just actually left with Chris. Just yeah, a when you walked in, Chris and Brody were both here. I was actually going to fill that out on on the in, right here while we did the video, but now she's like, "Oh, I got to get this." I got to get out of here. She goes, "Yeah, yeah they're I turning the camera on. Uh, get me away from here." So, so she she hot footed it out of here. Yes, she did. She did so what I would like to encourage you guys to do because one of the one of the favorite things that I've done over the last couple of years, and I always I always talk to you guys about this. You're going to say, "Oh my god, he's on a soapbox again." Uh, family photos, but this time I want you to make sure dad is in the family photo. As yeah. a matter of fact, if dad has got a film camera, I encourage you to get a fresh roll of film and shoot dad's camera. Go photograph your father with a roll of film yeah. on Father's Day, because I, I think that would be so super awesome. And if you can get pictures of you two together, we would love to see them, but yes. I, I highly encourage you to do it. I wish I had more photos of me and my dad together. Uh, I know I've got a good photo. As a matter of fact, I'll show it here. I've got a great photo of you and Don at the mm -hmm. at the the front here. I'm gonna go put that one there so they can okay. see that one. Yeah. But it's it's great to have those photos. And since it it's Father's fun. Day, I'm going to encourage you to go take a photo with your dad. Don't you don't have to get him a gift. Not yet. I'm not saying you have to give him a gift, but go spend some time with him and take a yes. photo with him. Yeah. Right. Take a photo. So what was what or was going on a photo walk together? Go on a photo walk. I oh, I, yeah. I, I take Mama photo walks. She yeah. likes that. Uh, what was your dad's favorite camera? Oh, what, what did he shoot wow. most of the time? Um, okay, he always has his stories. Um, <laughs> well, that's what we're here for. Exactly. Uh, he, he, well, for shooting events and weddings, he shot the Minolta C330. Okay. Probably years ago, it was the 220, and then I think his last ones were the C330s. And he'd have like four of them, and he would pack them in a Samsonite case. Four of the same camera. Same camera. Okay. In case one of them, something happened, he'd sit down and broke. grab and, you know, because they'll jam up or something will happen to them. Mm -hmm. And one time, one time he got down to the last camera, pulled it out and he took the finished up and it jammed, but he was finished. And so then when he got home, he was able to get it all working again. It wasn't like broke, broke. It just, it would just jam up for something. Yeah. But the Mamiya C330 and they have gorgeous photos uh, from them because the glass is beautiful. I mean, mm -hmm. it is it's beautiful. My dad actually, when he first was in a studio, yeah, him and a friend, Hal Fulgham, who's since passed away, and he was an awesome, funny guy, yeah, and hilarious, and a phenomenal photographer. But my dad borrowed his Hasselblad while they were at the studio, yeah, took a piece of paper, a newspaper, put it up on the wall, taped the ends down, and lit it up and took pictures with the C330 and the Hasselblad. Okay. Had it processed, brought it back. The Mamiya kicked its butt. Ooh. Kicked its butt. How was not happy. And uh, <laughs> he said, it's probably the way you shot it. So that's a here, you shoot it. So Hal then took the cameras side by side, put the tape up on the on the wall, uh, newspaper up on the wall. Same, same setup. Same setup. Shot the photos. And my dad goes, I noticed that days went by and weeks went by. <laughs> and finally, nobody said anything. Didn't say anything. So finally, my dad said, still beat it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the Mamiya C330. And uh, that that was his favorite for, for shooting weddings and port, and things like that. Yeah. Uh, just shooting, uh, otherwise, shooting 35 millimeter Olympus. He loved the Olympus camera. You know, I've never really had uh, much opportunity to shoot Olympus, I, other than one of like an Olympus pen he or something like that. Love that felt in his hands, or the Olympus the, trip. You know, no, the, yeah, you know the little bitty things. This is like the OM two or three or something like that. Now, here's the funny thing about it: my dad, being the businessman that he is, mm -hmm. he would sit there and go. It, whenever he was talking to customers, you just listen to what your customers say. Yeah. And sometimes the customer will sit there and go, oh, my goodness, if you don't shoot the Canon, you're just not a professional. Or, oh, my <laughs> goodness, if you don't shoot the Nikon, you're just not a professional. So my dad, being a photographer, had all of those cameras. So he'd sit there and pick goes, yeah, I got a Canon right here. Or, yeah, I got a Nikon right here. And they'd and go, so it was oh, easy to oh, say, oh, yes. you must be a professional. You right? must be a professional. Right. And then when he set the cameras down and he went to shot, he picked up his Olympus and shot the, <laughs> shot the event or shot whatever it was with it. And they get the pictures back. Oh, these are wonderful. Your Canon's great. And it's like, yeah, it is, isn't it? The best camera is the, the one, one you have. Hand. And the one that you like and it's comfortable in your hand. I, right. I mean, I if you were to go to my office at home, I have a uh, hundred or so cameras in there. But it's the best camera is the one I've got in my bag right now. Yeah, it's, it's exactly. It's the one I'm using, you know. It's the f-stop, the shutter speed, the film speed. 
EVS. That's the important thing. Those three things. And it's just, not the camera. It's the photographer. Went over that with two different people today. Yeah. And I, I'm just constantly, that's the fact. Learn that first and then go and take cameras and pick them up and see what fits. Because it, there truly is. There's a thing where if you grab a certain camera, there are times when that camera just feels like a part of your hand. And yeah. with my dad, it was the Olympus for a 35 millimeter and it was the C330 for the medium format. You know, I would have just as much fun shooting a wedding with this yeah. as I would shooting with this. Yeah, that's the party though. You should uh, but I mean, I, I think I could, you know, I would turn, you know, turn out equally good shots. Now, yeah. neither one of these is obviously a Canon. It's not no, digital or no. anything like that. But I think I could probably still blow away a bride and groom by the shots that I got back Absolutely, of these things. Yeah. They'd be like, you know, memories they could have forever. Uh, I took this to the, um, I was at the Texas Pie Fest. <gasps> when? On Saturday. Oh my gosh. I went to the Texas Pie Where Fest. Oh, at Rockwall. Oh, Rockwall. Yeah. And do you know who else was there? And I'm going to share this picture with you guys because I took one. Uh, Fletcher's Corny Dog. Yes, dog. I knew. That. Yeah, it's like I keep following them. One day I'm gonna be where they are. I, I was. I they had, were down I the had me a Fletcher's yeah. corny dog. But while I'm standing in the long Fletcher's corny dog line, yeah. I saw a lady holding a baby, and I'm like, I said, I, I've got it. I took the 3D picture, and I sh kind of showed her what one looked like. And she didn't. She didn't ask the the all important question at the time. It's like, well, you used to film. Well, no, no, it was well. How can I get a copy of that picture? It was she like saw me later at this little fair. She goes, I I, I need to know how I can get a hold of this. Is you know because obviously it's yeah. a baby. I mean, it's, it's a tiny a, little yeah. baby. It's probably not going to be a great picture, but it, it, Chris has got the photo right now, so it yeah. could be. Well, did you get um, an email? So you just... no, no, no. I just told her to follow Mr. Holga on on uh, social media, and there if she go. does that, then she'll eventually see the she picture. See maybe, <laughs> maybe, and maybe baby. So if there's uh, a picture of a baby on there. That that's that's this one right there. That's exactly it. That's it. Yeah, and then, then she can see her baby in three D and and a wiggle. Oh, wiggle. Her like baby, a baby doesn't wiggle. wiggle enough. That's true, but it still makes Holga giggle. So <laughs> <laughs> it's it's fun. I I keep telling everybody <laughs> on social media. I'm sorry that I keep posting another one, and I'm going to post another one, and I'm going to post another one. He loves it, people. He loves I mean, it. But they're fun. I mean, it was it, it, too quick and easy and fun to make. Exactly. It's too quick and easy, and it is fun. And again, we're going to eventually do some things with it, hopefully over the next year. Uh, so that's actually, that is our somewhat Father's Day special. Yes. Please do go take a, a photo of your father. Take a photo mm -hmm. with your father. Have mom take the picture. Show her how it works. There you go. I'm sorry. I don't mean to speak condescending to the ladies. No, no, no. no. But yes, show mom how it works. <laughs> <laughs> and put it on our Reddit. Right. If you take yeah. a film picture with uh, your father... Uh, I, and I don't care if you don't get the film back until next month. If you if you took a film picture with your father, please do post it to our yeah. our, our Reddit subreddit page. We'd love sure. to see it. Absolutely. Or if you took one last year or the year before, show that on film. We'd love to see your picture of your dad in film. Yeah, I will post a picture of my dad in film. I'm going to post. Uh, you've already guys already seen his dad. Hey, the picture that you shot of us uh, that was a really good one back in January. I love that one. Oh, yeah. I, well, it's, I take, it's, I've taken yeah. several. Well, that well, I, I posted it, but I took the picture in 2016. No, no, no. This is one when we was at the rehab. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah that's and right, it, that's it's, right. it's on. It's on the. Um, it's on. It's on the Instagram page. See, it's, it's one of my important to have these. It's important to have these pictures. Guys. I do. I love that photo. I do. Well, I think we should get yeah. out of here and go get something to eat. I am starving. I am starving, and yes. I think it's his turn to buy. And we shouldn't talk about that because that's going to have already happened after we post this. What food? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that that, Man, that, that doesn't tells, matter at all. Tells me to not do something and turns her out around and does it. No, 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 no. We're not inviting them to come eat. Oh, oh. That's that's no, no. Mm. Yeah. You guys are not eating no. with us. We're going to go get her something to eat. So, yeah. Yeah. so please do share, like, like, subscribe. Tell everybody. Tell two friends. Tell us. Tell, tell several them. friends. Tell it like it is. Go take a photo of your father on film and yes. post it. We would love to see it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Yeah. I mean, we've got a list of stuff to talk about. So that won't be next a time. Right. Yeah, next time. So, yeah. All right. See you guys later. Ciao. Later, y'all. You ready? Up. Oh. And out. And out. <laughs> don't get my right. drink here. Well, don't. Well, I forgot. I'll get it. You forgot your drink. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to fall over some stuff here. Stop. Where were boxes filmed? Are we getting some fish tonight? Well, fish or chilies.